Hello everyone, I am Tanu June and welcome you all to the next episode of question discussion series of Tips Academy. Today we are going to discuss a question of IIT Jam Mathematics Examination 2021. So this is a question from group theory. In this question we have given two statements. We have to check whether out of these two statements which is correct and which is incorrect. So let's start with the question. The statement one states that the Group of rationals under addition, that is Q plus, has no proper subgroup of finite index. Statement 2 states that the group C star with respect to multiplication has no subgroup of finite index, no proper subgroup of finite index. This is a single correct question. We claim that both of these statements are true. So we are going to prove these statements. Suppose we consider our statement first. Fourth statement one, we have to check whether Q plus has a proper subgroup of finite index or not. We will prove it by contradiction. Suppose if possible, there exists H, a subgroup of Q such that H has finite index, say n. We will prove it by contradiction. We have taken that suppose there exists a proper subgroup H of Q such that H has finite index in Q, that is QH is n. Now H is a proper subgroup of Q, so this n is strictly greater than 1, right? So let P by Q belongs to Q. Now Q plus is an abelian group. So any subgroup of Q plus is a normal subgroup of that group. Normal subgroup of Q. So Q by H, this question group is well defined. And Q by H, this group contains all those elements Q plus H such that Q belongs to the rationals. This is the set defined like this. Now we have given that Q by H is N. Index of H in Q is N. So I can say that order of Q by H is N. See P by Q is an arbitrary element of rationals. P by Q belongs to Q implies P by Q plus H belongs to Q by H. Now this is an element of this group and this group has order N. So P by Q plus H raised to the power N is equals to np by q plus h is equals to h this is an element of q by h its order is n so any element of this raised to the power n gives us the identity element so this is equals to h which implies np by q plus h is equals to h and this implies np by q belongs to h now from the here i have for any p by q belonging to h for any p by q belonging to q and p by q belongs to h so if i take P by Q is a rational number. So if I divide it by some natural number N, then it is also a natural number, also a rational number. P by NQ belongs to Q. Using this, N into P by NQ belongs to H, which implies P by Q belongs to H. I took P by Q to be an arbitrary element of Q and, I, and this P by Q also belongs to the subgroup H. So Q 
is a subset of H from here. But H is a subset of Q. This implies H is identically equals to Q, which is a contradiction as we considered H as a proper subgroup of Q+. Plus. So our assumption that there exists a subgroup H of Q+. Plus proper subgroup H of Q plus which has finite index n is, is wrong. So statement 1 is true. Similarly, we are going to prove our statement 2. So we can conclude that statement 1 is true. Similarly, we are going to work on statement 2. For statement 2, the group is C star with respect to multiplication. Here also, suppose if possible, there exists H, a proper subgroup of C star of finite index finite index say k that is c star with h h has index k in C star and K is strictly greater than 1 as I am considering a proper subgroup. So C star com H is equals to K which is greater than 1. Now this group also C star with respect to multiplication is abelian. So it's every subgroup is a normal subgroup. This implies H is a normal subgroup of C star which implies the quotient group C star by H is well defined and any element of this group is in the form of ZH such that Z belongs to C star. This is the required question group and this group has order K. Order of C star H is K. Let Z belongs to C star be any arbitrary element, right? Arbitrary. Now Z belongs to C star. So ZH raised to the power K is nothing but identity element in the question group. Since order of this group is K, so any element raised to the power K gives us the identity. So we have this, but this is equals to Z raised to the power H is equals to H. Now these two cosets are equal, which is if and only if this Z raised to the power K belongs to our subgroup H. These two cosets are equal if and only if this condition hold. So we got that for any Z belongs to C star, Z raised to the power K belongs to H. Now Z belongs to C star also implies Z raised to the power 1 by K belongs to C star. Since this is a complex number, this is also a complex number. So we have this. Now we have that Z raised to the power 1 by K belongs to C star. So Z belongs to Z by K, Z raised to the power 1 by K belongs to C star implies Z K power 1 by K raised to the power K belongs to H using this condition. For any Z belongs to C star, Z raised to the power K belongs to H. So if Z raised to the power 1 by K belongs to C star, then Z raised to the power 1 by K whole raised to the power K belongs to the subgroup H. And this is nothing. This implies Z belongs to H, which implies I took an arbitrary element of C star. I have shown that the arbitrary element is also in the subgroup H. So C star is equals to H which is a contradiction since I have taken H to be a proper subgroup of finite index. So we go, we led to a contradiction which implies our assumption 
that is there exist h a proper subgroup of c star of finite index is rho which implies statement 2 is correct statement 2 is correct so both of the statements are true and option a is the correct answer for this question neither q plus nor c star dot has any proper subgroup of finite index i hope you have understood the question for any query you can comment in the comment section thank you so much for watching the video thank you